Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, I'm not in love with my partner anymore, but I don't like being alone. Now this is not the best conversation to have without sounding a little bit harsh here. The thing is, if you are not in love with somebody, but you're staying with them for selfish reasons that you don't want to be alone, this is shortchanging your partner and shortchanging yourself long term because you're living a lie. You're living in a world of make believe. You're not happy. You're just existing. And how is that a good thing to do? You're not living to your 100% potential of who you can be. And your partner is, is sitting there being with somebody who doesn't care about them anymore. When people say this to me that they, they can't be alone, I always question what is going on in their world that it is missing to this degree. Because when you're busy, you have goals, you have purpose in life. You're not sitting here trying to figure out, you know, how to love somebody. You are happy with who you are and anybody that comes into your world is a, a blessing. And it's something that's great, but they're not making your life be everything. You have to have things going on for yourself because when you're happy and you've got these goals and aspirations, you're going to have a different spring in your step. You've got more to offer the world because you're fun to be around. You've got things to talk about and you are attractive to other people and you want to be that person all the time, not because you're with somebody, you're in a relationship, you want to be that person outside of a relationship as well. So many people stay in unhealthy relationships, loveless relationships, because they don't want to be alone. They're just not comfortable being in their own skin by themselves on a daily basis. Well, this is a problem because your partner should never have to be make your life for you. You should want to be able to find out who you are in all aspects and be okay when you are by yourself. Because a partner should always be an extension of who you are, not completely who you are. You're putting a lot of pressure on someone that you're with to be this person for you. And then you fall out of love with them and they're sitting here living with you, maybe not understanding what's happening and just getting a piece of who you are. I get it that sometimes we fall out of love. We might be married or in a relationship for 10 plus years, things change, we evolve at different paces and things just aren't the same as when we first met. I get that. Unfortunately, we can't stop our feelings from changing. And that is the big dilemma in all relationships. Things change within what's going on in our lives, our health, our careers, all sorts of things can come into play that change our feelings. If you truly don't love your partner anymore, you have to let them go. It's not fair for you to sit around and pretend and play house and give them the dregs of what you have to give them. It's, it's, so, it's different if they know and, and you guys are trying to come to a compromise on how you can maybe end the relationship and each come out okay financially. But it's one thing when you're going to blindside your partner because they don't know that your feelings have changed. This is a really big issue. The partner may think everything's great and you're sitting there saying, I just don't love them anymore. I don't have any feelings for them. So they're going to be very crushed when you make the decision to leave. But if you're not strong enough to do that, you're pretending to be somebody else and giving them a small piece of what they really truly deserve. Sometimes being alone without a partner is so much easier than being reminded of where you don't want to be every day. It, so many people are fearful of not having someone in their life because they don't want to say they're single. They don't want to say that they're without a partner. It's so much better when you can be authentic to who you are and be alone than be lying about your feelings and being in a relationship that you're not happy in. 
having that constant reminder every day is very traumatic to a lot of people. They don't understand how hurtful it is. They're living in a fear-based relationship. Fear-based meaning they don't want to be alone. But yet, every day you wake up, you're reminded of where you are. Every day you go to bed at night, you're reminded. So these thoughts are continually in your head that are depressing you. So it's not better being in a relationship with someone you don't love than fending things and figuring out things on your own. Learning how to be alone is, is really an education, but it's a good one because it forces you to have to get out and do things. It forces you to, if you want to be social, you've got to get and, and co contact people, communicate more. You're not relying on somebody else to make your life for you. You have to do it yourself. This is excellent. You don't want to rely every morning on when you wake up in a loveless relationship where you've got these negative, negative feelings that are consuming you all day because as Dr. Phil says, how's that working for you? If you keep repeating the same stuff over and over again that isn't working, you're just going to eventually blow up or something's gonna take over your health or whatever because you're living a lie. You're not being true to yourself. So please, I know so many people just don't wanna be alone. It's really good for everyone to have a year or longer being by yourself, figuring out who you are, and understanding who you are. What I do suggest here before you make any rash decisions is make sure that your life is fulfilled in other ways rather than just relying on your partner. Maybe there's something that's missing right now. Maybe you just feel a little bit down about what's going on in the world, what's happening maybe in your job or social life. Look at all of these things. Make sure that you do have a few goals and things that you're looking forward to hap have happening in your life. Don't put all, all your eggs into that one basket that your partner has to make you happy. If you can find lots of other avenues that can bring you some joy, you may find that it's not so much that you've fallen out of love with your partner, you're just bored with what's going on in your life. But if you do decide that you want to leave your relationship, be kind to your partner and don't blindside them with anything and just sit them down and tell them what's going on. Tell them you're, you have a fear about being alone, but you don't want to sabotage their happiness because you're not happy. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Please like the video and keep sending me your questions. There's some good ones. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.